Hi, this is Steve Garland, head wrestling coach at the University of Virginia, giving my weekly Virginia Wrestling newsletter. Um, <clears throat> last week, we had off competition. I was on the road recruiting at the Ironman tournament, big tournament in Ohio. And so I was on the road uh, for a few days, and Coach Lane and, and Coach Ellis and Coach Mack were back at the ranch training our guys up. So not, not anything to report on a competition front for last week, but for this week coming up, we have George Mason. It's going to be the Rumble on the River is what we call it, the Rumble on the River. It's going to be at St. Christopher's School in Richmond, Virginia. Uh, last year, the crowd was incredible. I mean, it was absolute packed house. Expect the same thing again. Uh, we're going to wrestle at 7.30 Wednesday. I believe it's December 21. Uh, sorry, I'm, I've been traveling a lot. So uh, that, I believe that's the right date. It should be great. St. Chris, come out and please support our guys. Um, yeah, we just we just really like to support support Virginia wrestling and, and, and our program. So uh, the other thing I want to do, the more the most important thing I want to do with this video this week is, especially before things get hectic with um, the break, with holiday, with everything. I'm getting on the road again tomorrow. I'm heading up heading up north again to recruit at a big tournament. So um, I'm on the road again, and I don't know the next time I'm going to be able to, to do this. And so I felt like today was the perfect opportunity for me to say simply this. I want to specifically thank all the donors, all the people that have given of their time and their resources uh, to help the Virginia Athletics Foundation, specifically given to the Friends of Wrestling program. I just want to thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. And, uh, you, you know, I, I've written a lot of letters over the years. I've been here. This is my 11th season now, so I've probably written thousands of thank you letters. But I think it's important to say it as well, for you to see me say that the money that you give... Um, is not overlooked. It's not taken for granted. I appreciate it, and I'm grateful for it. And our team, while they don't understand deeply the ex the extent of where that money goes and how it helps them, they're 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 better than most. I think they get it more than most kids their age. They got a lot. They get a lot better than when I was their age. And so, and that's a, a lot to credit of Jim Harshaw, who routinely comes by our wrestling room and educates them on what he does and what the Virginia Athletics Foundation is and what the Friends of Wrestling program is, and also educating me. Um, keeping me up to speed and all the work, he, great work he's doing over there. So I just wanted to make sure that I acknowledge Jim, and I want to encourage everybody that hasn't given yet for the fiscal year of 2016. I know for me, I'm, I just gave my gift uh, yesterday. I just wrote it out. I, I totally forgot to do it. Please do it because it definitely helps and it definitely matters. The first part it matters, obviously, is because our operational budget, our, our scholarship bill, is all funded by the Virginia Athletics Foundation. So that's a huge cause, right? And it's a lot of money. So uh, practically speaking, yes, that money's going to a great place. The other thing it does, though, the more people that give, the more our giving percentage for our sport increases internally in our department. What I mean by that is this. When we sit down at a meeting, we can say Virginia Wrestling, 46%. I'm making that number up. Well, let's just say that would be a dream. Almost half our donors, almost half the people that left our university under the wrestling banner are giving back to the program. How cool would it be to say that? And so right now our percentage, I don't know exactly what it is, but it's not number one, and I want it to be number one. Obviously, everybody's competitive. Uh, I want to be the best team. I want to have the best giving percentage of any program at this university because I want people to realize how much wrestling matters to people, how much they care. Uh, wrestling needs people like you giving. Uh, I, I just got back from a trip in New York, um, and I walked into a wrestling room and it broke my heart to see what these kids have, how, how little they have compared to other sports. You know, you got football programs, other programs with weight rooms, and, and, and all over the country, you got you got all these great things going on for everybody in wrestling. A lot of times, not every time, but a lot of times, is sort of the, the team that's pushed aside in the basement in the dungeon. And it hurts, breaks my heart as a wrestling coach, as a guy who loves wrestling. And so, you know, I'm not saying that's us, but I'm saying I've seen it. And so we need wrestling people. We need people that are completely invested in growing this sport, growing it not just here at the University of Virginia, but nationwide. So it's a little bit of a diatribe, but I just felt like I was a little bit inspired when I went on the road and I saw how I saw really how blessed I am and how grateful I am to be where I'm at. And also, though, my heart breaking for kids that love this sport that aren't getting the, the, those opportunities that a lot of people do. And so everything you give goes to a good place. We need the help and we appreciate the help. I just want to say also, finally, just happy holidays. If I don't get back on camera again, I know for me it's going to be incredible to just take four days, get with my family, especially my children, and just be a dad. I don't want to think about wrestling for a few days. I want to kind of detach, uh, you know, and that's hard for me to say because I'm constantly thinking about this program and about wrestling in general. So I'm going to try to do that. I hope you'll do the same and be able to de detach a little bit from the craziness of life and get with the people you love. So happy holidays to everybody, and I'll talk to you again soon. Go Hoos.